Duke's hard fought possession type basketball. We knew what we were getting into. And uh, certainly they got a big lift from uh, the players that came back. Uh, but we played really good defense in the second half. And I thought Shane Bahannon played a terrific game. It didn't, doesn't show a lot of times statistically what a player does. But he got people good shots with his passing. He got on the backboard. He did a lot of great things. He had a great week of practice. And he certainly is very deserving of that MVP. Harry Rozier has four points, but it felt like he really impacted the game. Did you see that as well? I would say the direct opposite of that. Never mind. Almost <laughs> polar opposite of that. I think that Terry pressed uh, because he wasn't scoring. I thought he did a great job of rebounding the ball. But I think he had he learned the most valuable lesson a freshman can learn is you don't have to score to have a good night. And he pressed because he missed a few shots. Rather, the point guard needs to worry about everything other than that. The shot goes in, so be it. I told him that in the timeout. Don't worry about it. So no, I, I have to disagree with that. I thought Shane Bahannon, Tim Henderson, and Mango Matthew were the guys that impacted the game. But, you know, I'm not saying you're wrong. We just have a difference. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a Hall of Famer. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, Thank you. <laughs> how did that manifest itself? How did the pressing, you say press, how did that manifest itself? Those I'm sorry, you, uh, Terry Rozier, yeah. it, you said he pressed. I just how think the freshmen, you know, the first thing they look at is, you know, is the shot going in? And Terry was playing fine. He took good shots that didn't go in. We don't... I try to get my guys not to be concerned about when you take a good shot, whether it goes in or not. And But he rebounded the basketball well. Um, I think the difference was, obviously, Tim Henderson is a seasoned veteran, came in and, and gave us a big lift. Can you talk about Russ for a second, how he played at the point, and also the very low turnover number you tonight? You know, I wish I had an answer for that. Everybody keeps asking me that. I, I'm not sure why we have such a low turnover rate. I, I haven't coached too many teams that had this type of rate before. I mean, I'm happy with 12. And, uh, and, and to be honest with you, I think three turnovers tonight were stepping on the line. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, Luke on the sideline, Shane on the baseline, and somebody else. So uh, I really don't have an answer. It's a very good thing, though. And Russ at the point? Uh, Russ did a very good job. You know, I said this to the immediate before the game of the play-by-play um, -play and the uh, color, color person. And I don't. This is not taking a shot at anybody else because I'm, my admiration for these guys is incredible. I think uh, Randall up the street is, is a phenomenal basketball player. I think Jabari Park is awesome. And, and all these guys are great. They really are great. But Russ Smith is the premier player in the country. And I say that because everybody want, always wants a, something new. Everybody always wants something new. Uh, Russ Smith has won, back, he's been to back to back Final Fours, back to back Big East championships. And, He's won the national championship. And Russ has improved his game where he's now, he had a negative assist turnover. He's now two to one assist turnovers. He's improved his shot selection. Um, and he's playing great basketball. And he's a point guard. You know, I always laugh about saying, well, can he play point at the NBA level? They play with a 16 second shot clock. They take eight seconds in the backcourt if it's a violation. He's a great pick and roll guy. So we like him to score. When he goes to the pros, he's got to change to who, whatever coach he plays for. So, you know, until you knock the young man off his throne, he's the premier player in college basketball. Biased opinion by me, but but I, I think he is because he's made every change. Uh, two years ago, I needed him to carry the team on his back. He did. Now I need him to pass the basketball, take good shots, makes what he does. So whatever he asks this young man to do, it's he's an awesome talent, and I and I I'm for one really appreciate everything he does for us. Yeah, he had 10 assists tonight, 14 points. Um, and, you know, it's he just does whatever the team Two years ago was Russ, you got to score, man. We we can't score the ball. So you got to take over the game and score. Now it's Russ, you got to make guys better. And he does everything you ask of him. Coach, this is the second game in a row where you all came really strong out of the second half. Uh, what do you attribute that to? You know, I think this game was very good for us. I, I thought this team would really play us tough. They have a lot of different sets. They're averaging 63 points a game. And, you know, we come out, we're in, we're in superior physical shape, not, not superior over any of the teams we play, just, just our conditioning is superior in terms of what we need to be in. And we're in great shape. I think we come out and make, make, make the right adjustments in terms of how they're, they're, they're playing us. And I think the players are smart enough to see how they're hurting us. Obviously, in the first, after the first couple of timeouts, they had 
six more rebounds than us, and we were playing good defense, but they got on the offensive glass. We wanted to really stop the three. We felt in a close ball game that the three-point line would be the difference maker. And um, we, we made some threes, got a big lift from Wayne early, big lift from Tim, and that was the difference in the game. You got 18 points and nine rebounds out of the five spot. Is that? I thought Mango was, was very good tonight. I think he, you know, it didn't look the greatest in ducking his head and making the moves, but he was offensively aggressive. I thought he tried to block shots, and I think he had a very good game tonight. Van Trees? Uh, I mean, he did a good job as well. You know, I, I, but I, I think Shane Bahannon is, is, is the guy to me that sticks out. He just did, he looked like a great basketball player tonight. Passes up a shot to get a guy, another guy a layup. You know, just did really good things tonight. And really, we had, um, we had uh, the guys from in town from the, uh, honoring Billy Minotti, picked the MVP, they're all good basketball people, um, picked pick the MVP tonight. I thought they made a really smart choice. Could have been Tim, could have been Mango, but I think they really made a smart choice. Talk about having somebody like Tim to come off the bench and in a situation where he needed to play, you're, you know, he can do it. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I went away from Terry uh, just because I saw Terry pressing about the shot. You know, I wouldn't have done that if Terry didn't care about it, mm -hmm. but he, he needs to sit next to Russ and, and learn a valuable lesson from Russ. Russ can care less whether it goes in. He's got like a hundred. You know, so <laughs> yeah, Terry needs to we just watch Russ. You know, Russ doesn't even phase him if he misses a shot. Yeah. And and you know, I don't know how long Chris is going to be out, but this was good for us tonight. Right. Chris short of putting uh, Tim on scholarship, how do you show him that he's valued with him? He knows how much I appreciate him. Um, you know, there's no question about it and um, he he knows that if he gets put on scholarship, he would lose the favor of all the um, ladybirds and, and everybody <laughs> in town because they wouldn't. They know that they have to. Everybody, the cheerleaders, ladybirds, all the ladies that where he hangs out in town, every bar in town would not treat him the same. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only, I'm only uh, no, I, I think that we don't look at Tim like a scholarship basketball player or a non-scholarship basketball player. We look at Tim. I know for one. I said this yesterday speaking to the young group, how it works with championships sometimes. We don't go we don't win a national championship without Tim Henderson. There's no doubt in my mind that if he doesn't turn around that Wichita State game with those two threes, we never have that one boom run that we needed to turn it around. So, you know, I never put it that much emphasis. I, I had a young man in Kentucky named Cameron Mills who equally got us to the championship game. Um, so we never look at it as scholarship and non scholarship people. Um, so he's as valuable as any person on a basketball team. Is there a level where he could be a regular in Division One? Oh, he could, he could go to um, some of the teams we played at Charleston or Weston or any other team would be a major factor in the game. But you know, Tim Tim realizes that he's a national championship player. He'll go down in history as, as always be remembered. Uh, he's going to live in this community. He's going to be a, an asset to the community. Yeah, I'm sure he's going to get a great job someday because he's bright, he's articulate, hardworking. So he's, he's living the dream right now.